Good morning and happy Monday, July 20th. It is the start of the reading rush. I originally wasn't going to participate in the reading rush because I was, um, I was, I had full plans of participating in the Creatathon, but I epically failed. So I decided, hey, why not like attempt the reading rush, you know, for once. And yeah, I, I don't have a GBR. I'm going to kind of like go with, you know, everything because yeah very much a mood reader so yeah um currently I am 50 pages into Get a Life Chloe Brown and um I'm gonna continue listening to it on audio while I start working for the day um and then this is probably this the only prompt this could work for is read a book set on a different continent and it's never explained like like specifically where this book is like takes place but the author is british and there's very like british terms in this so i'm assuming it's somewhere in europe so i'm just gonna go ahead and use it because it's my current read and i don't want to like pause and start something new just for this you know um but yeah that's it for right now and i'm gonna go work and listen to the audiobook for a little bit and i will hopefully be periodically updating throughout the week. Um, but yeah. All right, that's it for now, and I'll see you in a bit. So it is now like 3.30, uh, yeah, 3.30. So it's been a little while and I just wanted to come in and update uh, what I've been doing for the past several hours. Okay. Yes, so while I was working, I was listening to the audiobook for Get a Life Chloe Brown and I managed to finish the book. Uh, so I also managed to make a bullet journal spread for the reading rush just because my Creatathon spread is just so boring because I only like read a tiny bit and I only got to check off one box. So I decided why not? So I made a bullet journal spread, um, which I actually have to update considering I just finished Get a Life Chloe Brown, uh, which I think I might film me updating it. But anyways, that's once again, rambling. It's okay. <laughs> um, but I just finished this. I loved this so much. It was so cute. Definitely like a new favorite romance of mine, which I I feel like I'm pretty sure I've said that for the last like three romances I've read. So I don't know what it is, but I'm just like on a roll with romance right now. And I'm kind of nervous because I usually like don't go this long without reading a romance that I just don't like so a little nervous but it's okay but I love this it was so 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 cute definite five out of five stars I don't think I've ever loved a male love interest as much as I love red he is so perfect and I just he's so sweet too and I just I love him anyways yeah love this book definite recommendation definite so fabulous um, okay, and that was for the seventh prompt, which is, uh, takes place on a different continent because it takes place in Europe, I believe. It's never actually specified, but I'm assuming it's Europe because very posh accents. Uh, I listened to the audiobook, duh. Um, and then they talk about, like, you know, like, pubs and a cup of tea, you know. That was a terrible British accent, and I'm very sorry for that. Um... But yeah, and I don't know, I loved it. It was so, so, so spectacular and so sweet. I loved it so much. Okay, let me explain to you what this book is about very briefly. Uh, so we have Chloe Brown who is chronically ill and when she's first diagnosed, she kind of like stops living, if you will. She loses so many friends and starts taking life very like um, cautiously. And so after like, 
getting tired of that and wanting to like branch out more she makes a get the, get a life list um where she writes down things that she wants to do to like you know become more like adventurous and like having a more like like fun and eventful life I guess um and Redford Red he is a tenant is that is that what they're called he, he he like works on the apartment building she lives in and yeah um and she like spies on him because they I guess they like they have the, a window across from each other um and they're just like uh and so it's about him helping her cross off things on this get a life list and it's just it's so so amazing it is I loved every single second of it it was so so amazing and I just mm loved it love red love chloe and like her sisters i'm so excited to read um uh the two other books danny brown is already out eve brown is i think is coming out in 2021 anyways i'm so so excited to get to read those books as well because the sisters just seem so like eccentric and i absolutely adore that about them because like i just I love them. I love their family. Such a fam like fabulous family. So I'm really excited to get to read more about their family from the following books. Yeah. Loved it. Five out of five. Highly recommend you read it. So I made myself a TBR even though I said I wasn't going to. Um, just because even if I don't stick to the TBR, I'll still have it there in case like I don't know what book to pick up next you know I'll be able to look at like my sheet and be like oh hey I could read this and it would fit this prompt you know even if I don't use it it could still you know it could still be of help for the first prompt it is to read a book with a cover that matches your birthstone and I was born in January so my birthstone is garnet uh although there are very many forms of garnet that are like very different colors but the one that is most commonly associated with January is the very very dark red uh, garnet. So uh, for that I have like two books that I'm thinking about but one I don't own and that is Nocturna by Maya. Oh my gosh. I, I don't remember the author's last name but I will put a picture of it right here. Very pretty. Love the cover. It's a stunning cover. And then I also have Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee which I meant to read for the Create-a-thon but I never got around to it. And now that I'm looking for like at this it's not like this color isn't exactly garnet it's more of a like a like a purpley red but that doesn't matter right it doesn't have to be the exact shade so yep the second prompt is a book or read a book that starts with the word the and I have so many options for this like way too many options so once again this is gonna be like a whatever I'm feeling type of thing because I have I have books that are in like the romance genre like for instance the bromance book clubs I have um fantasy I have nonfiction. I have his but like historical you know like I have so many so many different genres with books that have the word the starting the title so I'm just gonna wait on this one and just kind of feel what like you know when it comes down to it like what I'm feeling and everything yeah um, and the third prompt is to read a book inspired by a movie you've already seen and for that I'm going to be reading Percy Jackson and the Olympians The Sea of Monsters it is the second Percy Jackson book I've seen <laughs> um I kind of like regret admitting this but I've seen the movies so many times um because I love Logan Lerman I think he's a fantastic actor and like I just he's he seems like such a genuine dude and so I've seen like all of his movies a gajillion times including the per the two Percy Jackson movies and I haven't read Percy Jackson I read the first one earlier this year and that was the first time I've ever read Percy Jackson and I was just so late to the party because I don't know I just I regret it highly too because I adored Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief it was fantastic and like Percy is just such a snarky main character and I love that he's so funny um so this is the second book in the series uh I don't know like I honestly it's been forever since I've seen the movie uh, but if I remember correctly there's a 
Cyclops in this and like that's like the main point of the book maybe not I can't remember oh the golden fleece I do remember there's there's a golden fleece in this one right I don't know we'll fi <laughs> I'll figure it out um but I'm really excited to read this and I have a bookmark in here but I don't think I've ever started it so I don't know but yeah um so this is what I'm gonna hopefully read for that prompt the fourth prompt is to read the first book you touch, which what I'm going to do um, in a later vlog, just because once again, I don't want to like tie myself down to a book right now, is I'm going to like pick a stack of like eight or so books and then I'm going to like close my eyes and like touch one and then I'll read that one. Um, but I'm going to do that later just because... If I did it right now and I'm not in the mood to start that book, I'd be scared that I wouldn't be in the mood to start that book later on in the week. And once again, I'm very much a mood reader, so I don't want to like pick something that I'm not in the mood to read. So we're going to worry about that later. <laughs> and then the next prompt is to read a book completely outside. But I live in the south and it is incredibly hot here um, and I don't do well in the heat. So I'm gonna kind of like play around with this one maybe uh, once again later in this week. Um, but I think what I'm gonna try for it is like read because I only ever read in my room. I don't read anywhere else in my house. So I might like try and read a book fully like sitting in the kitchen or you know something like that. Something like it that isn't normal for me just because I I don't want to read outside um it's it just it's it's too hot and like I just I don't function well in the heat so yeah next one is a genre you want to read more of I have options for this um I don't know which one I'm gonna specifically go with quite yet um but like I might choose a thriller like I had imaginary friend on my shelves since since it came out in I think January right um but I've been meaning to read this for so 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 long now and I mean it's a it's a monster of a book it's huge but I do have the, uh, the audiobook for it just came into oh my god the font is so small too so maybe not this one <laughs> um but I just got the audiobook available in my library so I might I might pick it up we will see who knows? This is a huge book though, so maybe not. <laughs> and then I'm also like considering a like nonfiction because I, so pretty much I'm willing to read pretty much anything that isn't contemporary or fantasy because that's pretty much all I've been reading the last like several months. So something that is outside contemporary or fantasy, so maybe like historical fiction, actually Maybe not. I don't know. That's that's also questionable because I read a lot of historical romances. Is that considered historical fiction? Now I'm just like rambling. So, um, but yeah, pretty much anything like graphic novels, maybe manga, um, nonfiction, thrillers, horrors, classics. Yeah, that's a genre. <laughs> now I'm just okay. Yeah. Anyways, you get the point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then the last one is, you know, read a book that's set in a different country. And for that, I read Get a Life, Chloe Brown and loved it. Once again, highly recommend. Um, so yeah, that is my little like somewhat TBR of a TBR, I guess. Yeah. Um, and now I'm going to update this. And I do think I'm going to pick out another audiobook just because I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks lately. I was in a very, very weird reading slump, uh, like literally since the beginning of this month. And like audiobooks have been like the only thing that's been like helping me like move on to other books. So I've been mostly like sticking to audiobooks just to like play it safe and everything. Um, so I probably, this is probably going to be a very audiobook heavy week and you know, fine with that. Love audiobooks. Um, but yeah, just, just letting you know. But yes, I will probably definitely update you again before I close out this vlog for today. Oh, by the way, didn't even bother saying I'm going to try da or daily vlogging. Yikes. I know. Um, 
I don't know, I just, I thought of this, um, I was like contemplating whether or not just to do a week long vlog, but then I was like, I feel like, I, like I've done, well, I haven't done a week long vlog. I think I have, I don't know. I've attempted week long vlogs and I was like, you know what, let's, let's really push ourselves and try and daily vlog because that's something I haven't done yet. And I don't know, I just want to see how I do it. So, <laughs> all right, bye. I will update you later. Okay. Okay, hello. So it is now 8 p.m. and I'm gonna go ahead and just call today off here um, just because I wanna get this edited and upload tonight um, rather than, I was gonna do it the next day in the morning, but I don't know, I just figured I wanna get it up as early as possible because I'm just so excited about daily vlogging and everything. So I'm gonna edit it and upload it tonight and everything. But before that, I just wanted to come in, check in, tell you everything I've done. Um, so after I finished Get A Life Chloe Brown, I decided to um, go swimming. And while I was swimming, I picked up the Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. And I, for the Instagram challenge for today, I re created this cover so check it out if you want to I'll leave my Instagram down below and everything I really like the photo I think it came out great um but yes so I started this granted I made it to a whole page five I've read five whole pages of this book um but this is the book that I'm gonna be reading primarily outside um probably mostly in the pool uh just because yeah yeah um and then I also just picked up um like just picked this up uh and that is the Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan um I'm got to page chapter I got to chapter two so I'm on page eight once again making lots of progress um I'm planning on reading more of this before bed tonight um I probably am about to go watch a movie with my mom and sister because that's what I've been doing for, la for the last like five or six nights in a row. So um, I might take this down and read a little bit while watching the movie with them. Um, but I'm going to be reading this before bed, seeing how much I can get into it. And then um, I'll, up or I'll obviously tell you tom in tomorrow's vlog. Um, but for right now, eight pages in, it's so funny. Like, I, like, not much has happened, but I'm already liking it. Uh, five pages in, planning on reading it more tomorrow. Um, and then I finished a book. So I'm doing pretty good so far. Uh, really liking, you know, really excited for this. Um, but yeah, that's literally it, I guess, um, for today. I will be posting again tomorrow, obviously, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked this daily vlog. I don't really know what else to say because like this is my first ever daily vlog. I don't know like what to co cover, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's my little wrap up for this vlog. Um, and I'm gonna go watch a movie with my mom and sister and I will see you in a new video tomorrow. And I hope you like uh, this video. Subscribe maybe if you haven't, I don't know. Um, I have my like Goodreads Instagram and I think that's it, my Goodreads and Instagram down below. If you wanna check out, I will be posting reviews for everything I read, although I'm a little bit behind, so it's kind of, it's probably gonna be like a couple days until my reviews are up, but I will be posting reviews for everything I read and I, on Goodreads, and um, yeah, I will be trying to do the um, Instagram ta or like photo challenges every day. I completed the like lifestyle photo challenge or lifestyle challenge, I don't really know what it's called, um, like the reading vlog challenges. I completed the one where it's like make a cup of coffee or something. You saw that at the beginning of this video. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Happy reading rush day one. Bye. What? Bye. <laughs>